Hi there guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat, if you don't know me. And today I'm gonna be talking about how to layer up for winter runs. Winter is honestly my favorite time of year to run. I get super overheated when I run. So summer, it's over. Spring and fall, they're all right. They're on thin, thin ice, you know? But this winter, I get cold on runs. I get chilly, I love it. The real key to actually liking winter running is knowing how to dress for it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I layer up for runs from 50 degrees to 10 degrees. Just so you know, I run about 30 miles a week right now and I try to do as many of those runs as I can outside. I always do my long runs outside no matter what weather it is. So this is what I wear when it's wintery outside. I can say words. So, once I'm changing on my pajamas and right into what I would wear if it was 50 degrees out or so, a kind of sunny day, I'd be wearing this nice little t-shirt and shorts. Uh, t-shirt, I really like this one because if it's a little bit on the chillier side, it's dark color, so it'll attract a little bit more sunlight, keep you nice and warm. Oh, look at those moves, wow. This is just a great outfit for when it's starting to get a little bit chillier, but you can finally wear a shirt again. Now we go down into if it starts hitting the 40s, I will throw on a long sleeve, keep the shorts. I personally get pretty overheated when I'm on runs and I like my legs to be cold, so I like keeping on shorts until I absolutely have to put on leggings. So I'm also adding here some gloves and a headband. These are really good for during the warm up if you're a little bit chillier because they're super easy to take off or just adjust their placement so that you can be a little bit cooler. Oh wow, look at those moves, that's something. As you can see, I have the headband over my ears here. If I got overheated on a run, I would just take it off of the ears. These gloves are super cute. They're from Tracksmith. They have really good little touchscreen pads on them, which I definitely recommend for running gloves in case you gotta change your music or check on something. Feel a little hot, there we go. Ditching the gloves, ditching the headband. You can tuck them into the waistband of your shorts or hold on to them, whatever floats your boat. Now we get a little bit chillier. This could be lower 40s or even higher 40s if it's really windy out because you want a little bit more leg protection. Once again, got on the gloves and headband. Absolute classics for winter running. I honestly am not a huge fan of these particular leggings because the waistband falls down a lot, but all of my actual three quarter leggings that I run in are currently in the laundry. So look at those moves. Make sure you got that mobility in your leggings. You don't want anything too compressive in running leggings because you want to make sure that you're able to move your body. Now it starts getting a little bit chillier. This is more higher 30s. Add that light jacket on there. If you're, you're just peeking a little bit below 40, this will keep the wind away from you. Keep your upper body a little bit warmer while still keeping your legs cool while you're running. And once again, we have the gloves and the headband. Here's what I do if I get a little bit overheated on the run. Just tuck the headband behind the ears, throw the gloves in my pocket, keep on going. And then it's super easy if you start cooling off again to just add back on those things. And now we're going down into the lower 30s, down into the mid 20s. This is what I would be rocking. Got full length leggings, long sleeve shirt, windbreaker gloves, headband, and this actually is kind of my, my base winter running look. If it's really cold, I'll add a sweatshirt on over the long sleeve. And what's nice about this is if you start getting overheated, you can just pull up the sleeves of one of your layers without being fully exposed to the elements, which is nice when it's windy and you don't want your skin directly exposed to any of the winter whipping winds. As you can see, this is nice because you also have that zipper so you have a little bit of extra heat control. These leggings are nice. They're a little bit more compressive. They're outdoor voices, but they're nice and bright, which I think, honestly, it's more of a mental thing on winter runs, but it's still important. Again, add a sweatshirt for a little bit chillier. And this is what I would do if it's like 10 degrees out because there's no way in hell I'm going out to run if it is below 10 degrees out. So I'm going to be hitting the treadmill. Personally, I'm lucky enough to have a treadmill at home that I've had for a while it's very old so i'll throw on a sports bra and shorts to run on there because i personally get super overheated on treadmills and that's gonna be my last winter running look so that's gonna be it for the winter running looks sorry i kind of dripped you on 10 degrees but as much as i love winter running it's it's not worth the possible frostbite to be honest unless it's less than a mile <laughs> 
so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment subscribe tell me about your favorite winter running looks in the comments or any other videos that you would want to see from me i would love to make them i also have a blog i've linked it down below i've got tips for winter running on there as well as some other fun running tips and a little bit about my running personally if you're thinking what the hell authority does this random woman on the internet have to tell me to do things i can tell you so thanks so much for watching and remember to go tell someone that you love them bye